Last thing before we go here tonight is about how we know what we know about hurricanes. The computer imagery has never been better than it is now. The track of the storm is kind of perversely mesmerizing as we watch it. We've all become accustomed to those spaghetti strands of storm forecast probabilities. Much of it is the work of computers, but not all of it, because in hurricane forecasting, there is still no substitute for flying directly into it. So tonight, let's remember the courage of the men and women of the hurricane hunters. More often than not, they are flying in propeller-driven aircraft, in some cases planes that are older than some of those on board. But they work, they get the job done, they result in this, the extraordinary view of the eye of Irma, 25 miles across. The aircraft takes constant readings flying into and out of the eye of this storm right through the eye wall of clouds in a storm that has generated gusts of 225 miles an hour. Because of GPS transponders, we can now follow their path through these storms. On board, it's work in the midst of a harrowing toboggan ride, and yet no one on that aircraft, not the pilots, not the scientists and forecasters and crew members, no one would rather be any place else. This is what they do. Their work saves lives. To do their work, they must risk their own lives. And in their case, the phrase public servants has never been so accurately applied. That is our broadcast for tonight. Thank you for being here with us. And thank you, by the way, for watching us for all or part of our first year in existence.